In this movie, we're going to explore the crosstab options. Using the report crosstab, which we've been using to explore the crosstabs in Crystal Reports, go ahead and right click in the upper left hand corner of the actual crosstab. And let's go to crosstab expert. From here, go to the office table and pull in office name, followed by office division. From here, let's go ahead and remove employee first name from the list by highlighting it and clicking on the left pointing arrow. Then let's go ahead and highlight the revenue transaction rev date and drag it up here. In this case, we're also going to drag in the revenue date again. And on the second one, highlight it and click group options. In this case, we'll do it for each month. If you recall, our original revenue transaction date in the cross tab, if we click on our group options, was grouped by year. Go ahead and press OK. Let's go to customize style tab. This is the essential layout of the crystal report. It's telling you where the column totals are going to appear, where the row totals are going to appear, where the grand totals are going to appear. It also has a few other curious options. You can choose to suppress totals if you feel like it. And also how your summarize fields are laid out, whether they be vertical or horizontal or showing the actual labels. In this case, we're going to show our labels and we're going to keep them vertical for the time being. Now, if I click on office division, an office name, I then have an ability to suppress the subtotal. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Right now we're going to leave it alone so we can illustrate what we're trying to accomplish here. Also on the revenue date, I can also choose to suppress that subtotal, as well as keep my totals on top or keep my row totals on the left or show the cell margins or suppress empty columns, rows, etc. I can also indent row labels and column labels by almost any measurement I see fit. You can also highlight this and change the alias. But let's press OK and see what we've done so far. Notice I have this new field here. I chose the option to keep it going horizontal and it's now inserting the field name. The good news about this field name is I can change it for all of them here and call it percent of revenue. I can also change this one here and simply call it rev amount. Now that only changed it for the actives that I was looking for. Notice I also have my office name followed by the division. In this case the extra totals here are redundant. So let's go ahead and remove those. Let's right click in the top left hand corner of the cross tab. Go to the cross tab expert. Let's go back to our customized style and let's click on office name. Right underneath that we come to suppress subtotal. Let's go ahead and click that. You can also suppress the label if you see fit, but for now, we're just going to press OK. And now that makes a little more sense. The totals are kind of a function of the groups that you've created in the crosstab itself. Also notice, as we scroll across, we have the years and then the months of the years, all broken out all the way across for every single year in our database. And a grand total at the very end. Now, we right click and go to Crosstab Expert. From here we go to our customized style and this time I can say keep the column totals on top and keep the row totals on left and press OK. Now I have my grand total up at the top and my row totals on the left as opposed to the far right at the end of the cross tab. These are just some of the options of the cross tab. I encourage you to kind of play around and experiment. The more groups you have the more the options comes in handy. For example, I have a total for the year and then each of my individual totals here. If you wish to not show the totals, you can use the crosstab expert, go back to your customized style, and remove them altogether by suppressing the subtotal. When you press OK, now instead of a total for year, I get the year, but then I only get the month totals. As you can see, it's quite a flexible tool. If you need something quick, this is probably the best way to go. You can also make it as complicated and detailed as you like. But there is a limit, of course. Crosstab was originally designed for the straight export to Excel. So in a lot of cases, in Crystal XI, there's a limit of how many rows you can create using a crosstab. That limit is around 65,000 rows of data. Yes, there's always a but. However, in most cases, since the crosstab summarizes things, not many occasions will call for 65,000 rows or exceeding that limit.